So sometimes I put things in my teeth that I would never dream of putting in my mouth and we'll just dispense with all the that's what she said jokes for now. But I'm somehow convinced that putting it in your teeth doesn't count. For instance, this is a dishcloth. This is possibly one of the most disgusting things you will ever own. See that? That right there is probably an evolving hemorrhagic fever having a party with herpes. And that over there? That is syphilis and the plague getting it on. So that means in my mind, doing this means that I just caught Ebola, herpes, the plague, and syphilis all at once. And will likely die a boil, blister, and bloody death. The triple B. Not a fun way to go. Having said that, doing this is perfectly acceptable to my brain because no mucous membranes have been touched, which really makes no sense when you think about it. So therefore, if no mucous membranes have been touched, I must not have caught Ebo Sif Plague Herp. I don't know. Unfortunately, then I do this and suddenly realize that I went ahead and caught Ebo Sif Herp Plague anyways and then I go eat cheese because I'm pretty convinced that eating cheese cures everything. But, you know it. I also have this odd belief that something you've gotten dirty or contaminated will mysteriously and magically become clean given enough time, which is kind of scientifically based, I suppose. But, um, you know, essentially, i.e., that toothbrush in my shower that I use to scrub the corners a couple times a week, if I haven't used it in a few weeks, I see it as a valid and acceptable means of brushing my teeth. If I used it yesterday, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. If I didn't use it in a few weeks, I kind of figure a little bleach, it's not going to hurt me, probably will make my teeth cleaner. I mean, it's not any worse than drinking tap water, right? Besides that, if cheese can cure Ebo Sif Herp Plague, it's got nothing on mold. God, I love cheese. Mm, this is really good.